Greetings, greetings, greetings. You are now tuned in to Soulful King, who no longer has a dream but has a mission I will achieve. I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective. You have now entered a sacred space of love and light. With that being said, I only attract, I do not chase. So if you have anyone that is hitting you up with my picture, that is um, messaging you with a long paragraph, or have my videos saying they want to do a personal reading, I'm not doing personal readings. That's not something I consulted with with the Most High or my Ascended Masters. That's not what we're doing. We're doing collective readings only, okay, for that reason, all right? So with that being said, come on in, come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are now part of the Soul Tribe family if you're new here, okay? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you can see my future readings. If you are a returning viewer, I love you. Peace, love, and light, all right? Um, if you're being led to donate to this channel, make sure you leave... Um, I mean, la, 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 la. here we go. <laughs> if you're being led to donate to this channel, um, the, my information is in the description box below, okay? Um, I do not delete anything. I like my stuff to be very authentic, okay? To, sh the to show you that um, how real this is, you know? Sometimes we stumble our words, you know, no one's perfect. Um, with that being said, I do not own the music in the background. As you can see, I am at my job just over broke um <laughs> my investment i like to call it um because i would love to actually um do this full time you know i want to um serve the most high and give out the messages that i've been told to give out and one thing i do love i believe this may be once again i'm always getting new gifts and i'm still on my journey even though my journey started in 2015 and i've always felt connected as a child but um I'm really waking up to my gifts more this year. And this is going to be called the scent message, okay? I'm calling this the scent message. It's something I smell, all right? And I'm going to give you guys a lot of information on it. So please stick with me to the end, all right? Grab your seat, um, turn your headphones up, put your headphones in, turn your volumes up, um, and let's dive in, okay? Creating me a clean heart and purify me. Oh, purify me, create in me a clean heart, so that I may worship Thee. Oh, create in me a clean heart, and purify me, oh, purify me. Create in me a clean heart, so that I may worship Thee. Guys, I felt that. I felt that. I love singing that song. It makes me feel so good, and I actually almost cried. Okay? I ask the Most High to continue to create in me a clean heart, so that I may worship Thee. Alright? Greetings to my ascended masters and ancestors known and unknown of the divine lightness and darkness from all dimensions and timelines. I am grateful and I am honored to be the oracle divine messenger for the Most High so that I can receive these messages and give them out to the collective. Alright, if you want to follow me on any other social media platforms, all my information is in the description box below. So let's dive into the scented message because I am on my break, my hour break, and I would love to go ahead and um, nourish my body. All right. So this scent message was May 19th, 2023 at 1.51 a.m. Okay. With that being said, um, all my readings are timeless. So when you see it, it's meant for you to see it. Do not mind the date. I like to keep track of things, the time that I did it, the day that I did it. All right. This is for my muscle memory. Also, something could have uh, um, transpired or it may intertwine. Something could happen to you on the same day it happened to me. You get what I'm saying? Because we're all divinely connected. So take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. True me and throw your bones. All right? So the scent that I was smelling was seaweed. I had a... I kept going... I was like, why do I smell like seaweed? You get what I'm saying? And um, I have been away from the ocean in a while because I did move more up north in the middle of the west like east west north carolina pretty much um but i'm originally from florida all right and the seaweed i kept smelling it was just smelling like seaweed the ocean and the first thing that came to my mind was seaweed I, okay i was smelling the ocean but it smelled like you you know you smell what you taste <laughs> it's probably like what well, it tastes like bleach or you taste what you smell like like how you know what bleach tastes like 
It's because all your senses are connected, all right? So with that being said, it was like, it was giving me seaweed. And seaweed um, is an underwater plant. Um, seaweed sign signifies something growing below the surface, all right? Um, in the unconscious. So things could be growing for you right now um, in the unconscious. Um, things that you're being aware of that you did not know, all right? I want to let you know um, a little bit about seaweed. Now, seaweed healing properties contains many antioxidants, such as vitamins A, C, and E, iodine, and it has protective pigments, all right? Purple laver contains B12. That is a type of seaweed. Also, one of my favorites is sea moss. Sea moss is like a sister, brother, cousin, family member of seaweed. It's a type of seaweed. Sea, wall, sea moss it's part of the seaweed family and it contains 92 minerals that our body needs and our body needs 102 minerals so 92 that is wonderful that is great um get you some seaweed you know look into that um keep in mind i'm not a practitioner so with that being said um do sort with your um doctor first if you are a person that loves to consult with your doctor first do that first before you start jumping into things that you don't know all right and if you are into the holistics and you love being very healthy this is obviously for you and if you tried the seaweed um already and you know exactly what i'm talking about go for it get you some right now um this is a perfect time spring has just came in and the seaweed element is water and earth all right because it's a plant but it grows underwater okay so it's intertwining like us we're technically all elements all right so you have earth and water now i did my own personal research okay i do my own research sometimes things are led on me but sometimes i like to go deeper in the research once it's led on me to gravitate towards what resonates with my soul okay so i'm going to always speak to you from my personal experience S seaweed symbolizes fertility motherhood nourishment also known as the ladies tree some witches may call um it also represents good luck and abundance it's a tool to summon entities which dwell in the sea all right um it also drives away evil spirits it neutralizes negative vibrations seaweed um some people even place a piece in their pocket to attract money and to ensure safe travels during sailing and cruising okay um it also symbols like the mermaid the merman sirens fish titan poison poison i could be saying it wrong yamaya or yamaja okay for the ifa all right um i just wanted to put that out there um, depend on your spiritual practices take resonates and leave the rest for someone else okay um, because I am more of an omnipresence I, I'm a truth seeker and I know that along my journey different things that I've connected with it all leads you back to source to the most high it does lead you back to the divine itself okay we're all that's why he say he has many names and he works in mysterious ways because they say prayer is personal we all have our own personal connection with the most high and he speak with us what we call speaking in tongues light language he speaks to us in a way that we would understand you get what i'm saying so no i'm trying to say no culture is different you get what i'm saying the the spiritual practices or religious practices is still dealing with the most high um how can i say this most people like to try to separate spirituality and religion and i feel, i get i get the understanding and understanding that religion is more control and spirituality is more freedom but you cannot have spirit you cannot have religion without spirit that's why people say the presence of the lord is here the presence of the lord is here i feel it in the atmosphere or the father the son and the holy spirit what do you think the holy spirit is you know what i'm saying so how the, the words is wordplay you cannot have, or they say come down to the altar and they put holy oil on um, your your forehead and stuff like that. Come down to the altar. And for people that have personal shrines and altars, it's all interconnected. You get what I'm saying? It's all interconnected. So it's really not a big difference. It's all how 
we're choosing to express the most high and there's nothing wrong with you expressing it in christianity i went to church i went church sundays i went to church saturdays i was baptist and christian um, but I always knew that I was very spiritual. When I was young, I used to always have my personal connection with God. I was also told that I used to talk to somebody. Um, my cousin said that it wasn't scary. You just used to always talk to yourself a lot. But when I was young, um, I used to always think somebody was calling me. And mom was like, nobody calling you. She used to say that all the time, nobody calling you. But it never felt scary. It was always like somebody calling my name. And until I actually recently, this year, um, as, you, as you can see, if you look at my other videos, I had started my telepathic messages because that's something I always felt um, because of things that I went through, traumas that I healed from. Um, I had to be so quiet. You know what I'm saying? I always had to gift the gab. So that was like my downfall, having to gift the gab, because when people don't understand you or understand you, they try to close you in. So that in my silence, I learned how to speak in my mind. And now I'm using this gift um, to even do readings when I do my telepathic compass readings or I do my telepathic readings where I'm just talking and then I just start um, pulling out cards and what comes out is given or um, I'm literally doing my prayers in my mind and speaking with the most high literally like talking like I'm talking to you right now and I be doing my readings like okay and I'd be understanding it, um, even on myself. And it still seek to amaze me because it was something I did as a child. And it's like one of those gifts that was like dormant, that's waking up type of thing. Um, because we all have an inner child, but because when life starts to shape us, we start to lose our inner child. Okay, um, not getting sidetracked, but um, vulnerability is strength. And I love to be vulnerable, okay? Um, that's not something I was out because I'm so used to being so strong and holding everything in. And um, being able to speak to you guys along my journey, being able to grow as a person allows me to be more vulnerable. All right. So with that being said, seaweed is also the planet. Um, the planet that rules seaweed would be the moon, obviously, um, because the moon controls the waves of the ocean. All right. Also, the moon sign would be cancer think about the crab that enters and exits the water okay and for my ifa family it's because ifa is something that i'm drawn to um i was drawn to it randomly i've always like i said been very spiritual being living human experience and i was connected with this one um divine sister that i love named felicia and I was getting crystals and things from her shop and out of nowhere she had these orishas up and remind you when they say you treat me and throw your bones I heard my dad talking about all this stuff when I was young I asked him say something about Abatala but I never I wasn't in his business you know how you just go in your parents room and you hear them having conversations on the phone and you leave but it wasn't part of my journey yet. it wasn't time for me and out of nowhere Shango is the one that kind of like gravitated towards me and I liked, I just liked it. I started reading on him and I just, he was very interesting to me. And that's what I carried for a while. But not knowing even along my path, my aunt had made um, this keychain for me that I, st I stuck in my ear years ago. And it was a nice keychain that she designed and it actually was literally the picture it looks like Oshun. Okay, I always loved bees as a child. My favorite flower is a sunflower. Like all this stuff just started intertwining. And I had started wearing my Oshun and Shango beads and bracelets, and I do feel my own personal connection. I feel like everybody have their own personal connection, and I know that it's deeper um, than crystals and offerings and stuff like that. Um, it's deeper than that, you know? It's ritual ceremonies, worshiping them on the days and stuff like that. And as my journey continues, I continue to get deeper and grow into it. But I didn't, I knew that I had Native American in my family. I didn't know that I was a chief shaman healer. But I knew, I f always felt like when I was a child, I used to tell my dad I want to be a shaman. He was like, you know, shamans are always alone. And um, I always felt that way though, you know? And I realized I wasn't the black sheep, I was actually the golden child. Because um, I always felt like that Matilda, um, if you ever watched that movie, maybe you should watch it. I always felt like that Stuart Little, um, that Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Um, 
with the Willow room on his forehead, which they say the lightning Willow room. Um, I just always felt that isolated person, but that isolated person always seemed to be the one the most powerful, you know, the one that nobody's ever paying attention to. And, and like, like Enchanto, I felt like that was the girl in Enchanto. You know, she didn't have superpowers, but the home was hers. She, she was trying her best to be loving and caring to everybody and didn't realize that her heart was her power. But also, when I had my first um, spiritual activation, uh, I would say my spirit animal activation, which I posted that video to, go watch it. That's when I started feeling like the little boy from Enchanto. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I understand you. Like, that's what I felt, literally. Um, it was just so many movies and things that attracted me to me. And it was showing me that you were just like these people. You feel so isolated, but it's because how powerful you really are. Um, it's because you are different and you're meant to stand out. Okay? And it's because you're favored and the Most High knows your heart posture. They say you know a man by his heart posture and the fruit that he bears. And I always felt like Joseph growing up. Okay, according to the Bible, I always felt like Joseph growing up because I had a lot of premonitions. Um, I was just so gifted. I am still gifted. I just talk a lot, and it's because I'm so knowledgeable. I always say I'm ahead of my time, and I just didn't understand what that means. But I'm understanding more, even in my music. Um, a lot of stuff that I, in my music, I've been creating. I actually been writing all my life, but I used to publish music in 2019. And when I started publishing music, it's now starting to mean so much to me now. Because my journey is getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm young, you know. Um, I'm in my late 20s, but I'm young, you know. I'm young. I'm a young body, but I have an old soul, you know. And I had a past life regression this year, too, and I was Haru. You know, ISIS took me on a trip and showed me I was Horus. So it's like I've been going through a lot of changes, a lot of changes, a lot of things. And I want you to know that you are not alone, okay? If you feel alone, if you feel like you've been going through so much and you can't put the puzzle pieces together, I would say, most of I say, don't lean on your own understanding. understanding. You know, he come to you at the foot of your bed. You say, um, he told David, um, I bet on my own self because there's no one higher than me that I would bless you. And I've known um, one song that got me through a lot was didn't you know by Donnie McClurkin and it makes me cry all the time even now I feel like emotion because it's like he say didn't I know your fears did not share your pain didn't I wipe away your tears wasn't I shelter from the rear wasn't I there for you wasn't I always true didn't you know that I'll be here for you my child so you're you're not alone. I just want you to know that you're not alone. Even when you feel like you're alone. The most high loves you. God loves you. Okay. As God never said, you know, not to be connected to your deity, your Orishas. In the scripture I know it says, Don't put no other God before me. I'm a jealous God. Because he's the one who created all. He creates and he destroys. He created all things. So where do you think these things came from? They came from him. You know? And some people like this, you know, of course, the flesh has to make sense of things. So we say he or she. God is both. God is divine. The most high. God is greatness on display. You know, the most high is all things. All things. He's all elements. He's space and time. He's everywhere. The most high is male and female. You know, it's a divine spirit. Like I said, vulnerability is strength. So these are tears of joy. Because as I speak to y'all, I know these are just messages that are channeling through me. Sometimes just so that I can hear myself out loud to show myself how far I really come. And I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for sticking through this. So, for my Ifa, the seaweed connected. And that's the first thing. Like, when I first set up my shrine, the first thing I seen 
when I set my elements up, I did a white candle. I did my crystals or my uh, incense. I did my water and I had a feather because incense can be also used as air. But I had a feather that I found, it was a white feather. And I seen like this mermaid, you know, it's like I seen Yamaya in the water, but I just had that awakening that I could, I don't know how 100% sure I am, but I'm trusting my intuition that she's my head, Orisha. You know, my favorite color always been blue. And it's a lot of different things that I start to see, you know, um, I don't have it on right now. It's because I end up, I was washing my hands, but my, my, um, uh, she led me to get in my anchor. Anchor is one of her symbols as well. You know, and I've been seeing a lot of anchors lately around people's neck. And I don't know, I just feel so drawn to the, the water a lot too. You know, and I am a Scorpio moon, so that makes sense. And I'm a Leo sun rising, you know. And even though, I guess I was attracted to Shango and Oshun, but Yamaya just kind of yeah, my jaw just kind of like gave me that confirmation that um, I was first. You just didn't know it, you know. You just didn't know it. She is the protective mother figure, offering guidance and nurturing. Um, her colors are blue and clear, and blue and white. She loves actually all different colors, turquoise. She loves the different shades of blue, um, royal blue. Um, her number is seven. Her day is Monday, Moon Day, Moon controls your emotions you know the, um moon is the somebody that's very influential um unifying duality balance peaceful she she shares the throat chakra of batala because she is the siren that siren speaking but she rules over the sacred chakra the sexual energy the emotions okay um the ocean she likes the ocean lagoons lakes her tools are a boat, steering wheel, anchor, machete. All right. Um, I found out she likes like coconut, watermelon, seashells, rum, cigars, fertility. She uh, represents abundance and childbirth. So, excuse me. If you guys have stuck to the end, I want you all to know that I love y'all so much. And um, I'm grateful that you're part of the Soul Tribe. So... I am soul for king who no longer has a dream but has a mission I will achieve. And I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button. Hit notification bell for future readings. Like, share, comment. You're always welcome here no matter who you are, what you believe in, or your preference. What shade, where you from. You know, the most high loves you because of your divine spirit. And that's why I love you. Okay? I am here to raise the energy, the frequency, the vibrations of the collective, and we can do it together. So, I'm going to send all your divine energy back to you with love and light, and I'm going to call all my divine energy back to me with love and light. All right? Peace, love and light. Namaste. Amen. Asheo, Aivo, Vo. You have now left this sacred space of love and light.